hey guys and welcome back to my channel with this get ready with me so I'm gonna just hop right into it and brush these eyebrows up to prep them for the filling so of course I'm gonna take my Anastasia dip brow in chocolate I'm just gonna start off by creating a very sharp line at the bottom of my eyebrows and then I'm just going to brush upward um, when I'm filling in my eyebrows For my concealer, I'm going to be using Anastasia's uh, shade in Banana. It's inside her, or this shade is included in her, uh, her cream contour kit. So I'm just going to line the bottom and the top of my eyebrows with the shade. Once I lined my eyebrows up with the concealer, I'm then going to take the same angled brush and pull down um, when I'm blending out the bottom of my eyebrow. And then for the top, I'm just going to do the complete opposite. I'm going to blend upwards or pull it upward. So clearly you can still see some of the concealer so I can't be looking all crazy so I usually take a fluffy brush to just blend that out completely and that usually does the trick for me and then of course as always I will go back in with my Anastasia dip brow just to redefine that line to get that sharpness because you know sometimes we'll take it away by blending too much so on to the eyes I'm going to take uh, this paint pot from MAC and I'm just going to apply it with my finger. I was applying it with a brush and I felt like it was a little hard blending it so I feel like my finger I have more control over the product when I'm using my finger and it blends way easier. So I'm going to start off by taking my Morphe palette and I'm not sure what shade that is, but you guys, if you have the palette, you guys can see what color it is. But it's pretty much like a yellowish kind of color, and I'm going to use that as my base. Next, I'm going in into my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to be taking Red Orchid, which is a deep red color. I'm going to place that all over my lid. I'm going to be mixing this color and Venetian Red just because I want that lid to really pop. I want these colors to really pop. So I am going to be layering it quite a bit. Um, and next, I'm going to take a blending brush just to blend these colors out. The Red Orchid is a deep red and the Venetian Red is more of like a hot pinkish kind of red. And right now, that's the color that I'm placing. As you guys can see, it gives me a little more pinkish undertone vibe going on. <laughs> so I'm just going to place that right on top of the first color. And then I'm going to go in again and blend out. Blending is going to be your best friend for this look because you need everything just to blend so smoothly together. So I'm going back into the Morphe palette and taking a kind of like a dark mocha color and I'm going to place that in the V, which or the outer V of my eye, just to give my eye a little more depth. And you kind of want to, I maybe layered it two or three times. And then, of course, you want to blend that out as much as possible just to make all the colors blend well together. Then I'm going to be trying, or not trying, I've already done this oil foundation from Smashbox, but I want it more of a dewy look today, so I'm going to be using that. Then I'm going in with my LA Pro Girl color corrector and I'm just going to place that on wherever I see dark spots just to kind of cancel out that color and you're going to blend that out with your finger and then I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix foundation in NC45 and I'm just going to apply it with a brush first and then take a beauty blender and blend that out. I find that it's a lot more effective 
one I'm using a brush just because I can save my foundation a lot of the times when I just apply it with a beauty blender I end up using more foundation than I need to or more foundation than I would using a brush so I'm just gonna blend that out with a beauty blender and then we're gonna move on to the concealer the concealer part in the highlighting part which is my favorite part the concealer that i'm using is from mac it's a pro long wear in nc45 which is the same color as my foundation just want a little more coverage in that area because i feel like i have bags i don't know i've always had bags ever since i was a kid it's really annoying but this is why i have to go do these like extra steps <sighs> anyways i'm just gonna blend that out and then I'm going to take my concealer, which is NARS, and the color is in Custard. And I'm just going to place that underneath my eyes, my forehead, my nose, and then my chin. So I actually used to use the color Custard a while ago, and then I changed it to Medium to Ginger, as you guys know, um, which is a little darker, just maybe a tad bit darker than Custard, but I want it more... Of a dramatic highlight so I went back to custard because I just miss that dramaticness in my makeup routine <laughs> all right so to contour I'm going to use NARS dark one cafe and I'm just going to place that I'm top of my or on my cheekbones and then my forehead and then in my chin um and seriously guys I really give all credit to the primer that I use the oil primer from Smashbox that primer really helps blend all of these colors together and that's what I really love about it and to set my highlight I'm using my translucent powder um Laura Mercier powder translucent y'all know what I mean <laughs> and I'm just gonna place that wherever I put the highlight to contour my nose I'm going to be using benefit in hula which is a dark brown color like a light brown color and I'm just gonna place it on the sides of my nose and then a V shape at the end of my nose just to kind of really bring that in and then I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and wipe that translucent powder away don't wipe too hard because you want to take it out take it off completely um, so just lightly wipe away and then I'm just going to take a blush, a big blush brush, and then I'm going to go in with my MAC Deep Dark um, Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. I'm just going to apply that first, um, just the areas that I contoured, and then I'm going to go back in, or not back in, but then I'm going to go in with a darker shade, um, which is from MAC as well. It's called Blunt. And I'm just going to go in with a smaller um, angle brush, and I want to darken that contour. So I'm going to take the side of the brush and then just drag it down on the sides of my cheeks. And as you guys can see, that really darkened and kind of like pulled in my face even more. For my blush, I'm going to be using NARS. And this is, honestly guys, I can't even pronounce it. Gulu. I'm just going to go with that. I'm not really sure. <laughs> it's a pretty pink color. And then for the bottom of my eye, I'm going to take the two same colors that I use on my lid, which is Red Orchid and Venetian Red. And then I'm going to take another shade from the Modern Renaissance palette, uh, Antique Bronze. And this is kind of a shimmery, uh, dark brown color. And I'm just going to place that on top of these two colors just to give it a deep, dark red, brownish color on the bottom of my eyes. And of course you guys know you have to blend that out. Um, so for my lips, I'm going to be using Spice by MAC to line it up, and then I'm going to go in with Anastasia's Butterscotch Lip Gloss. I'm going in with Dazzle Light from MAC, and I'm going to place that in my tear duct. I actually haven't used this shade in a while, but I wanted my eyes to really pop, so that's why I'm using it. Then I'm going to spray my face with MAC Studio Fix Plus Spray. I thought I was finished, and then I completely forgot. I did not put any highlight on, and you know I cannot walk out the house without some bling and highlights so i'm going to be using artist couture and this is in illuminati and i'm telling you guys this highlight is literally everything so that's pretty much it for the makeup right, let's guys, move on to the so hair now that our face is on fleek what are we gonna do about this hair 
Um, so don't mind my voice. I know I sound extremely different, but I'm just now like getting over a cold, so my voice is a little raspy. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to style this beautiful curly wig that I received from Wild African. You guys, this hair is mm 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 honey oh my god this hair is so bomb and i've never done a curly like poofy wig like this before i've had i i have a curly wig but it's more so like a wavy curly this is more so like african-american hair you know so it really looks like it could be my hair and that's what i love about this hair um so as always i'm just going to show you guys i'm not show you guys but i'm just going to tell you guys um, the specifics on this hair. So this hair, like I said, is from Wild African. It's the ombre color, 16 inches, cap seven glue lace, uh, front wood cap, 150% density. Oh, if you guys hear a ticking sound, just ignore that because I want to show you guys up close. The, I want to show you guys the wig up close and i'm still like not a pro at this camera thing so i have to leave it on autofocus so that when i get up close it could it could autofocus on you know my head and all that you guys can see <laughs> the part is like way over here and my natural part is like right here so we got to make sure that these are um lined up perfectly I'm just going to brush that back. I'm just going to add some concealer right here. Just to make it... I'm going to just run my fingers through the hair. So I'm just going to kind of run it through just to make it even bigger than what it is all right guys so it looks like this is the finished look for today as you guys can see i did not do much to this wig which is perfect because the whole point of wearing wigs is for it to be convenient on your life and for you to maintain an easy hairstyle literally i plopped it on laid the little baby hairs down put some concealer on and i'm out the door and that's perfect because i don't like a wig where i mean i don't mind having to do all the glue and all that jazz but sometimes you just feel lazy and you just want to just pop on your wig and go you know you may need to go to the store or whatever you got time to do all that glue so i'm saying if you want a low maintenance wig go ahead and get this wig also they are having a christmas sale so i will leave all of that information down below on the link and how much you get off and the code and all of that good stuff because who don't want to save money on a wig for christmas i hope you guys really enjoyed this get ready with me slash how to slay this wild african hair don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed just go ahead and hit that red button y'all already on the video anyways might as well just hit the button and thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed it. And please, you guys, send me, leave me some ideas on what types of videos to do down below. I ask you guys every time. And don't nobody be writing nothing. Y'all just be commenting it like, oh, your makeup's cute. I love you, girl. I love you, too. You feel me? But leave me some ideas down below because I want to make videos that you guys want to see. Just let me know down below what types of videos you guys want to see from me. And, yeah. So I will see you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for watching.